like I said, today we're going to make a frog. Hmm. Frog. Frog. Did you notice in one of the books we read how when a frog croaks, its throat gets really big? Frog. It's a green frog. The one we're going to sing about are speckled. Are you ready? Five little speckled frogs sat on a rolling log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Four little speckled frogs sat on a rolling log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Three little speckled frogs sat on a rolling log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Two little speckled frogs sat on a rolling log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. One little speckled frog sat on a rolling log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no green speckled frogs. Glob, glob. Well, boys and girls, let's make us a little frog. Now, I'm going to show you all the parts, and then you may have to go back to see it done more slowly. First thing I did was I got out some green paper, and I needed three of those sheets of green paper. And what I did was I cut out an oval. Now you could do a circle, you could do any kind of shape you want for your frog. So here's my frog, my oval. The next thing I did with the green paper, and this is something we just did last week with our parrots, was that I cut out two more tracings of my hands. I'm gonna put this down. There, yeah, I think you can see that. And what's going to happen, oops, that's not blue. What's going to happen is this. I'm going to put some glue right here on the palm of this hand. And I'm going to tuck it up under here on this side. Then I'm going to put some glue on the palm of this hand and tuck it in on that side so that they're symmetrical. They're the same oops, on each side. The same-ish. Those are his legs. He doesn't look like a frog yet, does he? Well, next I cut out two circles. I would have liked to have done it with white paper, but you know what? I have this kind of paper. If you have some white, you can. Now, we don't want to put the frog's eyes way down here because a frog's eyes are on the top of his head. I don't know if we talked too much about that, but when a frog goes underwater, his eyes are on the top of his head, so he can still peek out. And the other thing is, when he's sitting there waiting for flies to come by, he has to be able to see all around. Well, that frog can't see, so two more circles. Again, normally, I would do that with um, black. I always make my pupils with black, but I didn't have any black paper in my learning kit. You could just use your crayon and draw the pupils in. Hey, he almost can see now. And I cut out kind of a silly frog mouth. Frogs don't really look like that, but that's okay. I think he looks pretty good happy like this. So a little glue on the back of my mouth. And now he kind of looks like a frog. Well, I didn't have any red paper but I did find this kind of purpley color. And you might want to even cut it a little bit wider, but I cut a strip and I saved the rest of the paper for another project. And remember how we have in the past rolled it around a pencil or a crayon? Because this is that frog's tongue coming out to catch 
flies. When you take it off, it's all curly and rolly. And I'm going to stick this right here in his mouth. And there's my frog with his fancy tongue. And of course, I like to go back. Now, you might say that your frog's all done. I think he looks pretty cool. But remember, our song is about a speckled frog. So if you choose to make speckles, do you know what a speckle is? <laughs> Maybe you almost like something that rhymes with it. Speckle rhymes with fur, freckle. We would have freckles. Frogs have speckles. So little speckled frogs, that means I'm going to take my marker or in this case, you would probably take your crayon, but if you have a marker, you can choose. And I'm gonna put some speckles, little tiny, tiny speckled dots all over my frog, and maybe even over his legs. Now, if I, <laughs> I like him, what do you think? Hmm, remember our song? It was kind of silly, right? Let's try it. Ready? Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day. Mm -mm, went the little green frog. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day. And his eyes went... Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> very, very nice. You guys have got this. And pretty soon, you'll have a frog for your refrigerator. So like I said, um, it's fine. Go back and take your time and make the best frog you can. If you want to go even more than that and you have a really big piece of paper, wouldn't it be cool to put this frog in a habitat? Hmm. What are the four things you need for a habitat? Water. And where would the hot water come from? Well, the frog's habitat is the pond and there's lots of water in a pond. Okay, so we got the water. What else would we need? Food. Yeah, we would need some food. So what would you put in your habitat for that? I know you did this yesterday, but I haven't seen them yet, so I'm very excited. And you could make a big habitat if you want. That's right. The food could be little plants in the pond, little tiny organisms. It could be flies, because the, the frog, frog's going to go get those insects, yeah? And then, so we need food, and we need water, and we need shelter, right? How would a, a frog be sheltered in the pond? Maybe maybe in rocks, yeah. It might come out and hide in a rock to protect itself from its um, enemies, mm -hmm. predators. Maybe there's a lily pad in your pond. Sure, you guys have got some great ideas. And then it just needs space, so it wouldn't be in a pond the size of a puddle, our frog is much too big for that. It would need a good sized pond. And could there be more than one frog? Of course there could. Yeah, it would be great. So you do your thinking and, and see what you can come up with. But I hope you enjoy making the little frog. I think he was a lot of fun today. Ready? I'll see you tomorrow. And tomorrow, I think we're going to talk about something a little different other than frogs. So I'll see you then. You ready? See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. In an hour, sunflower. Maybe two, kangaroo. Gotta go, buffalo. Adios, hippos. Chow, chow, brown cow. See you soon, baboon. Adieu, cockatoo. Better swish jellyfish, chop, chop, lollipop, gotta run skeleton, bye, bye, butterfly, better shake rattlesnake, goodbye, my good friends. See you tomorrow. Have a great day.